Hello everyone. Today we are going to continue using the Gemini API and this time we are going to use both text and pictures as input to the model. Before I start, I just want to mention that the prerequisites as well as setting up the project and other things won't be covered in this video. If you want to see them in detail, I highly suggest you to watch the first video in this Gemini in Android playlist. This is how the app looks like. I have the select image button that I can click on. The gallery will be open and I can choose, let's say, this image. You can see that the image that the user has selected will, be, will populate the image view. Here I have a prompt that I can write. For example, I can tell the model, what do you see in this image? When I click on the send query button, the prompt as well as the image are going to be fed to the model and I will receive back the response. So you can see that the model said that this is a beautiful sunset, the sky is ablaze with color and the clouds are silhouetted, which means that the model has understood the image and gave a reasonable response, which is great. So this is what we are going to be building in this video. This is where we left in the last video. If you want to start from here, then go to the video's description. There, you will find a link that will take you to GitHub so that you can download the source code. I hope you have opened the project and that you are ready to start. Open the activity main.xml file. Here, we want to add an image view on top of the text input layout. So here, choose anything. We are going to remove the image later. Okay, so we don't want the image to be there. I will just drag it below the text view. Make sure to give the image a height. I will give it 256 dp. As I said, the image will be removed, so let's do that. Then add a 64 dp as margin to the top, like this, 64 dp. And don't forget to add some padding to the start and the end of the image so that the image doesn't touch the size of the screen. I'll just add, let's say, 10 dp. Finally, we will set the scale type to center inside. We want the image to be inside the container. After that, I will go to the text input layout. I will decrease the margin top from 64 dp to 32 dp and I will add a new button. So drag the button and put it here. This newly created button will let the user choose an image from his device. I will put both buttons in a horizontal linear layout. Drag the linear layout, take both buttons and put them inside this linear layout. I will make sure to remove the margin top from the send query button and instead give it to the linear layout just to separate the buttons from the text input edit text. You can see that the button that I have added is much bigger. So let's see. Uh, so here the send query has a width of 150 dp. Let's take that and give it to this new button. Now we just need to center the buttons Click on the linear layout, search for gravity, expand it and check the center option. We are close to getting the desired look. We just need to add some margins to the buttons. So select both buttons and search for margin. Let's add 10 dp to the start and end of each button. I will change the text to uh, select image instead of button and finally I will give this button an ID let's call it select image button congratulations we have finished working on the design now let's move to the coding part last time we created the Gemini Pro class and we used the 
get response method to get the response to the user's question. Currently, this method accepts only text as an input, but now we want to add images to as an input to the model. This is why I will add another argument. Let's call it uh, image. It is going to be a bitmap and I will add it to the content as well. So just add new lines and here we can add the image. So now both the image and the query are going to be fed to the model instead of just text as we did before. Uh, the rest is fine, we don't need to change it. But before closing this file, we just need to use the Gemini Pro Vision model instead of the Gemini Pro model. Now we can close this file and open the main activity class. Inside the main activity class, I will start by rearranging the views. I will put them outside the onCreate method. As you can see, this is what I did. I have added the image view that we have created as well as the button and everything is declared here. I also need to add the image variable. So let's do that. It is a bitmap. This is going to hold the image that the user will select from his device. Now, when the user clicks on the select image button, we need to open the gallery so that he can choose an image. To achieve this, I will create an intent with the action intent.actionPick. This action allows the user to select a particular kind of data and return it. In this case, the data is an image from the device's external storage. To open the gallery, we need to start the intent. This can be done using the start activity for result. And here we need to pass a request code. So I can just type in one, but because we are going to use it elsewhere, I will add a variable so that I don't type it twice. This is the variable that I was talking about. So it's a static final int. I called it select image request. You can see that it is equal to one and I'll just paste it here. Once the user has selected an image, the URI of the selected image will be returned to the app in the onActivityResult method. We don't have this method yet, so let's add it. Just hit Ctrl plus O to override it quickly. Type onActivityResult and hit OK. You can see that it was added here at the top. I will take it and put it below the onCreate method, just for clarity. Going back to the start activity for result method, you can see that we passed a request code. This is important because we need to verify that this code is the same request code inside the onActivityResult method. To make it easier for us to change this value, I have added this variable. Going back to the onActivity result, we are going to add a NIF statement. First, let's make sure that the request code that we receive is equal to the request code that we have sent when we started the activity. The result code is equal to OK and that the data is not null. If this is true, then we can get the image URI thanks to this line of code. Open a try catch block. The first thing to do is to get the original image. I have done this because the original image might have a big size and the image should not exceed four megabytes as stated in the documentation so that we can feed it to the model. This is why I will try to scale the image down to avoid, to avoid any problems. This can be accomplished by using the create scaled bitmap method. But before I use that method, I will take the original width and height of the image. I will scale them down by a factor of two. So I will divide each value by two. And then I will use the create scaled bitmap to scale the image down. Finally, because we have added an image view, I can show the image that the user selected in the image view 
component. Finally, if we have any problems, we will print the stack trace. Good, we have finished working on the on activity result method as well as the select image button. Let's go back to the send query button. We need to pass the image to the get response method because we have added this attribute to the function earlier. Congratulations! If you arrived at this section of the tutorial, I want to say that we are ready to test the application. Hit the run button and wait. Okay, the app is now running. I will select an image. Let's take this one as an example. Let's give the model this prompt. What do you see in the image? Just to confirm that this is going to work. Hit the send query button and hopefully we will get a description that tells us what is in the image. Okay, so let's read. This is a photo of a lake in a valley. This is correct. The sky is blue and there are some clouds in the sky. That's correct. The lake is surrounded by mountains. There are some trees on the shore of the lake. This is actually working. Let's just test this on one more image just to make sure that everything is working. Okay, so this is the image that I want to test the model on. What do you see in the image? One more time. Send query. Okay, so this is interesting. The image shows a mural on a building. Good. The mural depicts the operation torch. So the model was able to detect the text that is located on the top right corner of the building, which is awesome which was an allied invasion. So I will not read the full description, but as you can see that everything is working. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. We arrived at the end. I just want to mention that we couldn't chat with the model. In the upcoming videos, I will show you how to chat with the Gemini model so that you can ask follow-up questions. See you in the next video.